buddies. Good morning. Uh, today I would like to make uh, you know a whole view of a block factory here. Now what you are seeing is. And here you you see now is a, a hollow blocks. It can produce uh, uh, four blocks at one go. And uh, here is the pivots. And this kind of ship is called a uh, Holland Holland paving bricks. So this boat made a uh, a lots of plenty of the pivots and for storage. And you see these blocks. If you pay more attention on the block design, you can see they produce four blocks at one at one go. But the it produced three same blocks with three holes, and another one is with two holes. So they are different blocks. Normally, we can design the block mode as uh, as your requirements uh, to combine the different block design into one mode. That is what you see now. You see, there are three blocks with three holes and one block with two holes. That is what we design. Here I would like to try to pick some um, pivots to to knock it, and you can feel how strong it is. But you know, if you use uh, a lot of powers to to knock it, like this, you you see, it's uh, it's also will be damaged. But what I think is uh, these pivots. If you cure curing the the pivots more days, uh, the PSI of the pivots will be more 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 higher compared with now. And now I will show you the the material storage area. What you what you see now is uh, we call it a flash, but it's not pure flash. It's a kind of flash with some uh, stone dust. You know the dust. The dust with uh, will will be very you know uh, collected and uh, nicked will be together very well. And here is the stones, like the aggregates. Stones. This one is dust. This one stones, right? The stones. This is this kind of a material is very good for forming forming the blocks. And over there is the sand. 
the sand is a normal sand, like uh, you can get it from the river, you can get it from the sea. It's normal soft sand. And here, what you see now is the big size stones. If you would like to produce a solid, very solid quality of the blocks, you can feed, you need to feed some quantity of this kind of stones with a little big size. It will be support the blocks quality to be more better. the cement and you see this hopper is uh, attached with the concrete mixer will be you know will be sinking do sank down uh, inside of the ground within the it digged already by the workers this one the model of the mixer is a GS 500 concrete mixer so the hopper will be hold the sand and cement stone dust together and uh, lift up those material up to the concrete mixer for mixing. This one is the batting plant, batting machine. This conveyor will be transfer the mixed, uh, the mixing the material up to the the block machine, as in the blocks will be produced blocks.
here what I'm going to show you is the pedal feeder machine. Normally you don't, it's not necessary for the block because to get this kind of a machine to just feed the pellets onto the onto the machine, onto the block machine. But if you want, if you uh, have already get a uh, big size, the fully automatic block machine, and you know, as you know, the pellet pellet weight is very heavy. It's, it's, it's heavy. So in order to save the labors to carry the pellets one by one onto the you know the pellet box, uh, that would be better for for you to get a pellet feeder machine like what you see now. This machine can be feed can feed the pellets one by one mechanically mechanically not by not by menu. You see, they will be transferred the pellets one by one into the pellet box. Here you see now uh, is the batting plant. It's batting machine after batting uh, because this scale the correct uh, quantity of the stones, sand, and the stone dust. You know the conveyor belt will be will be trans will transfer different material. You know from the hopper of the batting machine inside this mix hopper. But here you know uh, you feed in the cement by manual like this. But it's you know it's uh, it's uh, it's also easy to feed in the cement like this one where you use a knife to open yeah.
here we are going is the is the block curing curing area. The four story the, the finished blocks. Mm, for myself, I think this uh, block maker, this boss, this owner of the block factory is very how to say the pre expected. They worried. He worried in the future. Uh, you know the cost of the material like the sand, like the stones or the aggregates or stone dust fly ash will be you know increased. The price will be increased. So he prepared those material in advance and produce and produce blocks and a story and a story in the blocks here. And uh, you know in the future, if the block block buyers uh, come to your factory, you can sell you can sell those blocks. Of course, after many days, maybe one month, two months, or half a year, the curing. The 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 cement blocks, the concrete blocks, will be get very strong, will be get very strong after long time curing. But with the sunshine, you know, with the water every day. So my friend, um, please, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel, and switch on the bell. Uh, so that you can receive the new video once I update the new video. So next video, I will try to make a subject video about how to prepare the material, uh, how to you know get the correct ratio of the material, you know how how much percentage of the st stone dust, how much percentage of the sand you should put inside the material. So remember, remember to you know subscribe my channel. Thank you and see you next time.